and welcome to another YouTube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all well. Today's video, unbook related, it is a video diary of the first two days of my most recent period. Um, if you've been following me for a while, either on here or on Instagram, you'll know that I suffer very badly from um, painful periods and have done my entire life with a brief sort of 18 month interlude uh, when I was at university. I remember not really having very painful periods then. Oh, the glory days. Little did I know they'd be the glory days of no pain. Um, and I always moan about it, and all my friends know I always moan about it. It's almost become a personality trait of mine, the fact that I have such bad period pains. Um, and recently, I've been thinking a lot about my period, about women's health in general, um, and I thought I would document my painful period, and that is what is coming up now. I launched straight into it, which is why I've put this little video of me um, talking about <laughs> introducing it. Um, I do get upset in the video, so if that is a sort of trigger to you, then it's towards the end, um, so avoid that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll find this sort of helpful and enjoy my painful period with me. Goodbye morning <clears throat> day one of period pain no blood yet but just gripey tummy now it's 10 to 8 i'm in the car park at work that's what this glamorous setup is um and i kind of have got to the point where i'm hoping now that my periods are going to be at the weekend um well or when I'm working from home, or even better, at the weekend. Um, but today is a day where I'm in the office, so I just have to sort of crack on with that. It's hard because I find it hard to stand. I find it hard to sit some days as well. Um, and what I've got, what, what normally happens on the first day, and we'll see if this goes by, um, is that there's a lot of gripey tummy. I feel like I constantly need a poo, constantly. Even if there's no poo, I still feel like I need a poo. Um, back ache, lower back ache, boobs hurt. I've in preempting today. I've put on a crop top bra, so that there's it's sort of a bit just comfy, really. Um, and yeah, that's how I think today's gonna be. My mood at the moment isn't too bad because I can sort of handle it. As the day goes on, it gets worse and worse. I haven't taken any painkillers yet. That's another thing I really struggle with. Like knowing that I have to take painkillers like at least once every month and that is just not cool or normal. Um, I haven't taken anything yet, but I know I will need to because my focus as well, when I'm on my period, I find it really hard to concentrate on anything because of the pain. Um, so I will need to take painkillers a bit later on, but I normally take um, ibuprofen and I'll need to eat something to do that that also is a struggle because on my first day of my period I find eating makes me feel sick um and yeah and I'll probably take paracetamol as well so that's that I am in an office-based job so um there's not that much standing but there is still standing so so yeah that's what my day probably looks like. And um, yeah, I'm working eight hours today with a half hour lunch, which I'll, if I'm feeling okay, I'll go for a walk around the block. Um, Cause sometimes that helps, but sometimes it doesn't. There's also so much sort of uncertainty of what works one month doesn't necessarily work the next month. But yeah, it's better, better just get in and get on with it. I've got a hot water bottle in there as well, but I mean, it is June. <laughs> Who wants to be sitting with a hot water bottle strapped to their tummy? But maybe that will be me later. Hmm. Finished. It's just gone four o'clock. Do you know what? I'm going to get in the car. I should have done that first, really, shouldn't I? I'll get in the car. I'm making that face, but actually, that wasn't the most painful period day I've ever had in my life. So there was pain. I did go for a walk. I had a little sit on a bench outside to get some air. Um, I only took uh, paracetamol, which is good, and I ate, and that was fine. But yeah, and I had a hot water bottle while I was there. And actually, for a June day, it's not that hot, so it wasn't too bad. Itchy nose. So yeah, so I'm feeling okay. It still wasn't a pain-free day. It was. This is what's weird about it, isn't it? Is that I'm saying, oh, I'm okay, but I've spent the whole day in pain. <laughs> so it just goes to show how much I've normalised my period pain. Um, 
yeah, the back pain and the tummy pain was the, the worst and that's really helped with the, the, the hot water bottle. But yeah, I messaged David, as I always do whenever I've got period pain and messaged him and said, oh, my period pain's really bad. He's very good. He says, oh, get, just get home and we'll get you a bath and things like that. So that's what the plan is now to go home and have a bath. It's a Wednesday and um, I went to the theatre last night and normally I put up a video on a Wednesday, but I just know that I'm not in the right headspace for that. So that's something that's having to sort of go by the wayside um, that I would normally do. And also we normally go to my mum and we're taking it in turns to go to even my mum and dad come to us or we go to my mum and dad's and play board games once a week and that's supposed to be tomorrow and I've cancelled that because I know I won't be in the right space to do that either um so that's frustrating but yeah the main thing on my mind now is get home get my makeup off my skin's always bad around my period as well <laughs> um and have a bath and then get in some comfy clothes and get a new pair of period knickers on I'm gonna do a little period chat with David as well so join for that In the bath as planned. The bath does help a lot with the old period pains, I always find, um, because I think it encapsulates my tummy in warmth. And I'm about to put some more warmth in the bath because I've just been sat in here reading and drinking chamomile tea, which I read once um, helps with, is it with, I don't know. I don't know, I think I read it once that it helps with period pain. I don't, I've never had a cup of chamomile tea and thought, oh yeah, that's made my period of pain feel better. But also similarly, I've never had a cup of chamomile tea and thought, that does not feel as good. <laughs> so um, yeah, baths help. I'm about to take my makeup off. I've got a pair of period knickers ready there to go. In terms of um, what I use when I'm on my period, for a few years, I used, oh yeah, this mascara comes off in like big chunks. Um, I used a moon cup and I always got on very well with my moon cup and was always very pleased. I had a very heavy flow and it prevented me using lots and lots of um, sanitary towels or tampons, which I, were fine, which I was getting through and wanted my period to be more sustainable. Just got to rinse this under here. Never use your bath water to wash your face off because you get spotty, although I'm not exactly the oracle on what to do to not stay spotty. So yeah, so I use a moon cup. Come down here a bit with me while I uh, rinse this. So I used a moon cup for many years and always got on quite well with it until one day I was just in agony putting it in and getting it out. And I tried again a few times afterwards. I'm still talking to you. And... Um, yeah, never. Yeah, and um, just never got back on with it again, which is madness, isn't it? So, yeah, I guess I'll have to try again one day to see how I get on. But yeah, so I went off of moon cups, and then around this time, I saw that period knickers were becoming a thing. And I bought a couple of pairs from Moddy Body, which is a website where you can get. And there's various brands. I've only tried two: Moddy Body and Love Luna. And I really wouldn't rate the Love Luna ones. They're much, much cheaper, but I can't even probably wear them for two hours without them overflowing. Whereas Moddy Body, if I wanted to, I could wear them all day. Um, and yeah, they're expensive. They're 20, they're around 25 pounds a pair. But, um, and I've got about eight, I've got eight pairs now, plus those Love Luna ones, which I don't think are very good. Um, and, I can do a whole period with those as well. So one thing I will say about period pants is that um, they take ages to dry. So with eight pairs, if I wear like one during the day when I get home from work um, and then change again in time for bed. If I'm working from home, I change them sort of mid-afternoon. I can do that and then wash a couple of pairs and have them dry because you're also not supposed to dry them on the radiator, like when the heat's on, because that makes them not last as long. So yeah, but I find that they're really, in terms of pain relief, I literally just have to slip a pair of <laughs> knickers on rather than put a moon cup or a tampon at me or faff around, which I know sounds dramatic, faff around putting a sanitary towel and a pair of knickers. 
But if I've woken up in the morning and I'm in agony, just pulling on a pair of knickers rather than going and getting a pair, of, like it just saves me time. So yeah, that's what I'm on at the moment in terms of that thing. And yeah, it doesn't really give me much bother in terms, of, it doesn't add to the pain. Whereas I feel like tampons did, as did the moon cup after that time. Strange old thing, isn't it? Let me know if you've um, had any problem. Like if you always got on well with a moon cup and then didn't. And yeah. I'll carry on getting bathed and then I'm gonna get out and lay on my side, because that's nice. Nice. Lavender soap as well. Nice. It's low energy all round today, because period pain here, and what's up with you, my little poo-poo? Hay fever. And he's got my favorite T-shirt on that I love you in so much. Yeah. Very bad. David's never had hay fever before, and this year it's been unbelievable. I'm actually feeling a lot better after my bath. Good. So this video, David, that I've been filming, I'm filming a bit of a video diary of mm. what my period's like. Okay, As an outsider looking in, how would you say my period goes? Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> what sort, when you say very bad, what do you mean? What happens? Well, you're very uncomfortable. Yeah. To be around, no, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do, I do feel like I am though. No, you're, no, you're just in a lot of pain. Yeah. Very low energy. Yeah. Uh, like you, luckily you managed to sleep not too bad. For me, sleeping is good because it means I can sleep through some of the pain. Yeah. So sometimes at night I'd take some painkillers and then think, oh, well, I'm all right, I can sleep through it then. Yeah. And if I've ever got it in the day, I always try and sleep during the day, yeah. don't I? I know a few times you've told me I haven't woken up, but you've woken up in pain. Yeah. And you've gone and had a bath at like four in the morning. Yeah. It but, just shows what deep sleeper you are. You don't even wake up when no, I'm exactly. having a bath. No, exactly. No, I always thought I was quite a light sleeper. No, not. I don't no, know who told you that, exactly. but you're not. It's all lies, isn't it? So, yeah. So, as an outsider looking in, it doesn't look much fun, does it? No, it doesn't. So, what do you know about periods? Um, How often do they happen? Once a month. Yeah. And over well, the course of... Like, so, it, it's once a cycle. Once, so, oh, sometimes yeah. it's for 28 days. Once sometimes 28 it's... Days. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, what happens? You lose a bit of blood. How much blood do you think, which I, I've asked you this question before and you gave me a ludicrous answer. Yeah. And I actually, I, I corrected you then, but I'm wondering, now me asking you now, how much blood do you think I leave? Is it like, like a thumbnail's worth? <laughs> no, it's not quite a thumbnail's worth, no. Or like in I think the thimble. first time you said two pints. Yeah, I which so. I think would kill. Yeah. It would get up bleeding out every month. Yeah, that's a lot. It's actually about an egg cup's worth, oh, which okay. is still quite a lot. That is still quite a lot. Like yeah. a, an egg cup, shot glass, that might work yeah. for you. And um, I've just got a few period products here, and I was wondering if you can talk me through what you think they are, <laughs> and yeah. then we'll talk about price and stuff because some people may not even know about the prices no, and things very like much this. True. So let's start with. What I started with, so when I started yeah. my period, this is what I used to use. So, tampon. What is that? Tampon. You think that's a tampon? No, sanitary towel. Sanitary sorry. towel. Sanitary towel. Okay, and how much do you reckon? So, you get these in packs of like 10. Yeah. How much do you reckon a pack of 10 of those is? So, I think, because I have bought some of these for you yeah. in the past. Are they about like three or four quid a pack? No, they're, they're around sort of like one to two pounds for 10. Yeah. But it depends on where you're buying, if you're buying them in a convenience store or something like that, as sometimes you just need to buy them, they can be up to four yeah. pounds. So, so, no, 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 I want you to open it. Oh, okay. So open it and tell me what you what you see and what you think <laughs> it's for. It's like when you get a plaster, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you right. smiling. So what, what's, what's in here then? So this is your sanitary towel. Yeah. And you have to, I, I mean, I, are we, I want you to, are we I, opening this up? I want you to put this, put it in this pair of yeah. knickers. This is just a standard pair of knickers that I would wear. Yes, you yes I really off. do wear knickers this big when life is. So, but yeah. you think, so what have you just done? You've taken that bit off. So what do you think these bits are for? So these are to stick onto the underwear. Right, okay. So go on then. I mean, do I have to take this bit um, off it's well? all It's all up to you, David. Oh yeah, you definitely have to. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So tell me where you yeah. think, what you think will happen with that. Okay. Bear in mind, I'm doing this while they're on. So, like, you don't get yeah. this angle in normally. No, you definitely don't. Oh, no, he's holding them up. Yeah, I know it's awkward, but I, I, want, to, yeah. I want people to be able well, to I mean, see what you're I doing. I mean, I don't think I'm really getting it spot on, but I think you know what I'm trying to do. Right, okay. 
Oh, and you think those bits fold round, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd, like this isn't going to be spot on, but you kind of know what the, the really... aim that I'm getting at. Imagine. So that's not perfect. Right. Okay. <laughs> But you so know what yeah, I mean. you've done it. So you've done it. You've done quite a lot up the bum and just a little bit at the front. Oh, there, I've got a leaky you? bum. <laughs> you've got a leaky bum, and you—he has used the wings, yeah. but he hasn't stuck them on. No, 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 because it's quite awkward to put them yeah. on when there's nothing. Because it's not been held up open by legs, is it? Okay, well I could have held it open for you, but okay. Right. So, but, but you've done a pretty good job there. Yeah, so, so I've got I've got the area right. So this, how often do you think you'd have to change one of these? Um, maybe two to three times a day. Yeah, I would say two to three times a day. But like sometimes if you go to the toilet, is, this is for a heavy flow, and I do have a heavy flow. So yeah. some days it could be um, a lot more. Towards the end of the period, it will be a lot less. Yeah. Um, what you've done here is that you've you've left. I know you tried your best, but like that sort of thing would really hurt. Get stuck in your pubic hair, stuck yeah. on your skin, stuck on your clothes. But yeah. All right, I'll give you that one. Hold on well minute, done. Cat is about to escape. <laughs> right, so next up, what what's that? So this is a tampon. Yeah. And what does a tampon do? So this goes up your vagina. Yeah. You're opening it up. So how much? Be careful with this because I want you to show me what you think, how you think we get them up there. So take the oh, packaging God. off. Right, so how much do you think one of these is? Uh, uh, so you get again, you get a pack of about, well, this one in particular, so you can buy them on the high street. This is from a brand called... Um, TOTM, time of the month. So, and, and I bought these because they're organic cotton. Um, but you can buy all sorts of different brands. But yeah, if you were to buy, pop into Boots, how much do you reckon 10 of those would be? Like, again, two, three quid? Yeah, you're probably right. And again, you can get them on an order. Yeah. These ones are slightly more expensive because they're organic co cotton and they get things. So they come like this. They, yeah. This is the applicator. So they come in different applicators. So if we're saying that this hole is my yeah. vagina yeah. with this bit facing up, yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to do it so that we can all see. This hole is my vagina. How would you put... Oh, you've taken that off. Yeah, I definitely okay. think you have to take that off. Yeah. Then... I'm going to stop you there because you don't take that off. Oh, okay. Okay. So, because we only want to waste one tampon. Mm -hmm. So, pop that back in. So, if I actually show you what happens. So... You put this bit inside you. Yeah. Cardboard. Yeah, the cardboard. Because right. it's actually, if you feel it, it's, it's a bit got sort a bit of, of sheen, sheen on it. So it goes in. So you put that bit inside you up to about here. And then you push that, which releases that tampon. Oh, okay. And then you remove that. Right, okay. And then this string is hanging out. And why do you think that's hanging out? Uh, so you can pull it out. So you can get it back out again. Yeah. Okay. So. And then that's going to be covered in blood. Would well, you want to pop it in here? It expands, think, doesn't it? Yeah, how big do you reckon it's going to go in terms of size? I think it's not going to... F I think it's going to at least quadruple. Oh, okay. You've got a height. Right, go on then. So yeah. there we go. So pull it so out So it doubles, there. really. Yeah, it doubles. All right. And that's normally full of blood. So you can pop okay. that in there. So how often do you think you'd have to change one of those a day? Um, I think you kind of feel it. So I reckon you have to go on your natural instinct. Do so you think you'd be able to feel when that is full? I think so. Okay. So you have to change it at the very least six, every six hours because otherwise you, get, oh, okay. you could get something very, very serious called toxic shock syndrome, which can send your body into shock because yeah. there's a stagnation of blood inside is what oh, okay. I believe. So, um, yeah, which is difficult, like, if you want to sleep through the night and things yeah. like that. And next up, we've got this little moon bag. Moon cup. Actually, oh, you know it's a moon cup. I know it's a moon cup. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Go on, open it. I haven't, I haven't used that moon cup in about 18 months. No. So what do you think this does? Well, so this... Some people will have never have seen a moon cup before. No. So this is discoloured in a way that it's just getting old. You can use these forever. So this is what a moon cup looks like with a little teat on the bottom. And it's made of a sort of... Silicone, yep. would you say? Yeah. And what happens with that? So this will also go into your vagina. Yeah. And I'm guessing this little bit will just kind of hang out of your vagina. Well, yes-ish, but that's got nothing to do with removing it. That's no. just... Okay. So how do you think you would get that quite big thing into the vagina compared to... Where's the little narrow 
tampon holder. Unfortunately, so. I think it's just being a bit fiddly, like folding it up. Yeah, so compare, if you look at that, yeah. that's got to go in, and then you look at that, like exactly. the difference is, so you think you've got to fold it yeah, up. Yeah, I think it's just a case of manoeuvring it in. So yeah, you're right. There are two options. So you can either do it sort of like squish like this, which will get it smaller, but still not that small, or you can do one they call the rosebud, which then sort of enables you to get that bit in, and then you have to what release it. Name. Bloop, and it creates a suction inside. Yeah. Now, I use this with That's quite... your egg cup right there. <laughs> That's true, but it doesn't go fully up to there. <laughs> Probably, yeah. So I have I use this for about a year with literally no drama at all and had a lovely time with it and then just couldn't get on with it anymore. How much do you reckon one of these is? Um, Ten pound. It's around the twenty pound mark. Um, okay. And you can, these are becoming more and more available in sort of supermarkets and pharmacies. But you said they'll last you forever. It lasts you forever. Unless you lose it, it lasts you forever. So in terms of value for money, this is probably your best thing. It's pretty thing. good if you don't um, find it uncomfortable. The only thing I will say is that it might be difficult for you if you're in like, if you're going out in public, like, because you have to empty this moon cup. Yeah. Like, imagine if you were in the toilets. Of so a restaurant. It, of a restaurant. You can get it out, but you've got no air. And it's always nice to sort of rinse it before you pop it back yeah. in. So that's difficult. So luckily when I was using mine at work, we have stalls, toilets. So there's a sink included in the toilet. Also, sometimes you need a bit of room to get this out. You remember, David, sometimes I've literally been like on the bath trying to get it in and out because it's a bit gymnastical. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that. And then lastly, what are these? So these are your period knickers. And what do you, these do? So these act like a uh, sanitary towel. Yeah. And what do they do? So when you say they act like a sanitary towel, what does that mean? So this will like soak up the blood yeah. that comes out. So these are relatively new type of thing in terms of... And they take period. bloody ages to dry when you wash them. They really do, don't they? Yeah. So th these are a pair of knickers, which I got from a company called Moddy Body. And um, they... Look like this. There's a, I've got a pair of, I've got like shorts ones and I've got these ones and I've got like high waisted, I like a high waisted item. And then this middle panel here, so this is quite well, you can see this quite well in these ones, is very absorbent and it will absorb your period flow. Um, how often do you think you would need to change those? Um, like once a day, but I think unless you could, because you would feel it if it was wet. Yeah, so these you can definitely feel. Like... And I would say you would need to change these, dependent on your how, how, on your flow, like between two and four times a day. However, as David's just said, they take ages to dry, so you have to wash them. Once you finish with them, you rinse them out. Um, I normally, if I'm wearing them in the shower, take them off while I'm in the shower and rinse them until the water runs clear and then leave them to hang up in the shower <laughs> to dry, which you love. Again, that might be difficult if you're living in um, shared if you're accommodation, shared, shared accommodation yeah. and things. How much do you think a pair of these cost? Oh, I think these are quite pricey, aren't they? I think they're about like 25 to 30 yeah. quid a pair. They're about 25 to 30 quid. So, yeah, they're the pricier option, and you couldn't buy one pair and do a period on them. You basically, <laughs> a period, you need to build up your supply. So, I've got yeah, up to nine got, pairs oh, now. Up to nine, so, I you? can just about do a period on them. So, if you were looking at all of these things, David, what do you think you would be, mo taking into account price, price, what you're wearing, like where, what do you think you would go for? I reckon I would them? probably... The tampon, the moon cup. I reckon, personally, I reckon I'd end up doing the moon cup. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you would. Why? Because it's hard, it's difficult yeah. to get it in and out of you. Yeah, but you don't know, it's, you, it's different for each person. And why would it? you opt for the moon cup over the other things? Because I just feel I like... I thought that would frighten you, having something inside. Something, something inside, inside so, so strong. strong. And oh, it is very no. strong, but it lasts a lifetime. Yeah. So why do you think you'd opt for this? Uh, I just think because it's kind of like comes with a lifetime yeah. guarantee. So you're looking for money saving, so a one-off payment, done. Yeah. Well, if pay, you don't lose it. If you don't lose it. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's, yeah, the only thing it is, is it's not very practical if, you, if you're if you out and you need yeah. to have it. So imagine you're out on a night out. Yeah. Then you think, oh, my moon cup might be getting a bit full. You're having to empty that out in bathroom, rinse it out. Rinse it out. You could take it in. out in the toilet and empty it in the toilet, but you wouldn't be able to rinse yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. It maybe you're right. Maybe, um... I don't, I don't, I I'm don't not saying that this isn't like this is very versatile and like when when I got on with it I really thought it was good but yeah for me I don't, I, I don't think I'd go for a tampon why not 
I just think they. I'd rate that the um that I pull it out and. All right. Well, let me hold that, and you try and pull that string off. God, it's on there, isn't it? Yeah. But if I'm pulling that forceful out of my vagina, I'm not having a nice time. No. All right. Well, give it another go because let's see how strong these strings really are. Because I'm not very strong. No, that's, that's not, not coming anywhere. off, is it? Bloody try, hell. try it holding both hands. You'll never. I don't think you'll ever get it off. No, I don't think yeah. it will. That's They're really. really I, I don't know how. There, isn't it? I don't know how the technology between keeping a tampon string on. You won't be able to do like, it. Like that's just that's so that's never gonna you're never gonna no. you're never gonna lose that. So that was something you'd be worried about, but that would never happen. So you no, just no, definitely not. For me, it's period knickers all day long. Yeah, like you de you definitely get on with them the most. And maybe I'll be the same. Yeah, occasionally I'll use a sanitary towel. I never asked David to put them in my knickers for me though. <laughs> no, I bought them from the shop though. Yes, you have. So there we go. Period chats with my boyfriend. Do you want a last sniff for the camera? Here's a tip for you. If you've got period pain, lay on your side and hitch your knees up. Now, I read this in a health magazine. Apparently it takes the pressure off your back and it's supposed to make it feel better. And again, as is the case with the chamomile tea, as is the case with coconut water, which is something else I sometimes drink when I've got period pain. I don't know if it's a, what's, what's it called, David? When you think something's working, psychosomatic, is that yeah, it? I, I don't I, know I, if it's psychosomatic be. or if it actually works, but it does seem to help a bit. It went away for a little bit, but it is back now, obviously right in time for bed. But if, I, if needs be, here comes Minnie, here comes my other hot water bottle. You come in. Come in and be in the video. About my period. He <laughs> is a big fluff. Oh, <laughs> very heavy girl. Very fluffy girl. Where are you going? Okay, bye. I'll just lay here like this for a bit, I think. Weirdly. This hasn't even been one of my worst periods, David. Wouldn't you say I'm in sort of better spirits yeah, than normally? Yeah, yeah, you are pretty good at the minute. Sometimes I'm almost unresponsive, aren't I? Yeah. But let's see what tomorrow brings. Morning. Come on, Minnie. <laughs> Minnie's here. She wants a little morning cuddle. So it's about twenty past seven. I'm working from home today. She's so pretty, aren't you? I had. A, a full night's sleep, but I did wake up a few times because of period pains. Now, when this has happened before, sometimes I've had to get up and have a bath. I've been known to have a bath at like three in the morning. Or had to get up and take painkillers. Sometimes get up and take painkillers and then get in the bath until they start working. So, although the pain was bad, um, it wasn't enough that I needed to get up and get a hot water bottle or get some painkillers or get in the bath or anything so yeah so that's pretty good for the first first night of period so I need to get up change my period knickers get changed and then start work can you hear her purring this is quite nice with you on my tummy actually Minnie because you're a little bit warm you're like a little tiny hot water bottle nice so yeah here goes day two. Say bye, Minnie. Right on the boob. Lunchtime on a working from home day. As you can see, I'm in comfy clothes. And um, I haven't had to take any painkillers this morning. My tummy is still really hurting. Um, but I'm going to have this hot water bottle, <laughs> which is a long hot water bottle. So one of the consultants at work bought this for me. Uh, it did have two pom-poms on, but one's come off uh, for Christmas. And I always say, <laughs> it's the best present I think I've ever received. It's so helpful. Like if you've got a neck ache, I was very st stressed out on the run-up, like on the run-up and after Christmas. I had a very tense chest the whole time. So this was very good for lying there. Also, long so it gets you warm but perfect for laying across or around the back i've also seen these with straps on so you can actually have it on and walk around i don't know how like achievable that is 
But yeah, so I'm about to do that and have some toast for lunch. Um, eating when I'm on my period. As I said before, I feel sick and nauseous the first day. So my eating isn't very good. And after that, I just want to eat everything. <laughs> so, and I'm um, type two diabetic. It was in remission, it's on its way back. Let's test and see what my blood sugars are. I had a massive bowl of really sugary cereal for breakfast, which obviously isn't the best thing to do with cashew milk. And it sent my blood sugars high as a kite. They come down now, they're 8.7 now, which is all right, but they went up to, well, it said 13.4 at the time, but now it's showing that it's only, it didn't even get up to 12. But yeah, it was a massive bowl of really sugary things. So toast under the grill, hot water bottle, and then back to it. <sighs> Work's finished. My tummy still hurts. My hot water bottle was all right. Still painful. That's the washing machine going. I could have a little nap. I might have a little nap. I might have a little nap. <sighs> My mood's on a bit of a... I think that's because David's not here. <laughs> He'll cheer me up when he gets back from work. But, oh God, I'm just rubbing my tummy. So I think maybe, the worry is to have a nap is meaning I might not nap tonight, I might not sleep tonight. But sleep does help, it really does help. I don't even know if I'll put this bit on there because it's just crying on the internet's no fun for anyone, is it? It's not. But I guess I'm supposed to be doing a painful period video and I guess this is part of a painful period, isn't it? Because yeah. it's the second day and I've had an okay day in terms of pain. Like like I've just said to David, I haven't had to take any painkillers today. But just went to start cooking dinner and just like really bad pain in my mm. tummy. So I laid on the floor in like a ball. I don't think you realised I was in pain. No, I did didn't. You? No, I thought you was just having a little stretch because you said you were trying to get a poo out. <laughs> That's what it feels like a yeah. lot of the time. Or like a fart or something. Just, I just heard you snuffling. And it was just so painful. Yeah. And it's just so hard to do. Well, like any pain's hard any time, but like every month. Just having to cancel things and plan things around it go to work and just be in pain all the time but what did we say when, when you get your results through from your smear test the woman gave you some ideas for some different options so you're gonna explore them i went and had my smear test done recently and what 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 did she suggest to you what you haven't looked at before so i tried to have a coil fitted before but it was so painful the the nurse had to give up trying to put it in and that was horrible and then i bled for ages after that and that was really sore i've been on the pill before and that mate that hasn't helped my mental health but now she asked me about having kids and if i'd had all my kids and i said well, we don't plan to have kids and she said well you can go on a lower dose pill um which might be better in terms of the hormones she also suggested the injection which wouldn't give me periods but would mean that i'd have spotting for the first spotting's like blood it's not a period but it's like minnie's really staring at me because <laughs> she worried about you but at that point i feel like i would just um, I'm a, I'm, I might go so, for that. So, so sorry, what is spotting? Obviously, it doesn't sound very nice. Like but... blood coming out, and it's not. You can't time it because it's not a period or anything. Oh, right, so it, it just could happens. be any time over the first first three to six months. 
and the injection I think lasts a year. Oh, okay. So it might just be a case of if that, if you but were yeah, to do you that, can't... you just have to have some like knickers on you, yeah. just in case, or wear the knickers. So yeah, so when I was at the, having the smear test, we got talking about how painful my periods were. And to be honest, she was the first person I actually feel like who's listened to me. Yeah, exactly. Like when I've been to the doctors before about it, like one nurse even said to me, oh, it will go away once you've had kids. Yeah. And like, that's not an option. You shouldn't say that to people. No. Oh. Yeah, so at least you've got some avenues to go down, some different ones. Yeah, so I think I might think about getting the injection just to give it a go, because at this point, I, think so, I, just can't, I just can't do it every month. I can't, no. I can't, like the thought, I'm having to go through this and I'm sat here in pain now thinking yeah. I can't wait like this will go away and then it will come back again next month yeah yeah you just get on mate as soon as your results come in then ring whoever she contact whoever she uh, suggests the contact and then go from there and then fingers crossed <laughs> It just won't hurt as bloody much because it's horrible. It is horrible. There's nothing we can do. Well, hopefully there is now something you can do that will work and will reduce the pain. It's just been going on for such a long time. I mean, I've been having periods since I was 14. Mm -hmm. And this is 20 years later and I'm still in pain every month. Yeah. Like, it just blows my mind that there's all these advances in medicine and yet we can't do anything to help women and their period pains. Mm. Oh God, wasn't that just so sad? I've just sat and edited it and I just looked so sad and so in pain. Like, it just makes me feel heartbroken. That, that, that was about um, five days ago. Um, and actually after that I didn't film any more because <laughs> just as a aside, I've, I've come, my, my niece got a little diarrhea and sick, little diarrhea and sickness bug, it's wiped out my sister, my brother-in-law, and I think I got a bit of that because I've been nauseous and literally no energy. I think combined with the fact that it was my period and you're low in iron when you're on your period, after your period anyway, so, and that sort of makes you very exhausted and I, actually on Sunday, my friend Emma came round for brunch and then I fell asleep on the sofa for what I thought was about 10 minutes and actually ended up being like over an hour um, while her and David just watched the football. So yeah, I've, um, following that, I had a very sort of low energy in terms of like having had a bug and things like that. But yeah, that was a, a couple of days insight into what it's like um, for me and my period. Now, as I said during the video, Actually, that wasn't even one of my most painful periods. I've had really bad ones where I've literally been laying in bed, like staring, not even very responsive. Um, obviously, I got upset. <laughs> there was like, I'm hormonal anyway. I don't really suffer from um, PMS very much in terms of I don't get stressed or I don't get cross. <clears throat> I also don't eat lots. A lot of people say that they like to eat chocolate and things like that. That's not something I feel a bit nauseous. Um, but yeah, I hope that felt useful to anyone just to see what a painful period is. If you've got advice about painful periods or anything that you've done, books you've read, programs you've seen, etc., etc., please do let me know down below um, and share your stories of painful periods. Because I think when I was younger, I was told a lot, oh, your, pa your periods won't be pa painful like this forever. And they have been. And I've been told, oh, it shouldn't hurt. And it does hurt. So this is sort of like solidarity in terms of painful period crew. I know what it's like. But also, we've got to do it. Now, during the weeping, I was talking about the fact that I'd recently been and had a smear test. Um, and the, the nurse who did my smear test. By the way, it was the best smear test experience I've ever had. It literally took about 30 seconds. And then the rest of the time we spent um, talking about my painful periods. And she was saying, you shouldn't be in this much pain every month. And um, she was discussing a few options. And I'm going to go back. Sadly, it won't be with her because she's not the... They call it family planning, which is another daft thing, isn't it? Because I'm not planning a family. I'm just planning to not be in pain forever. Um, she's not the lead and I have to see the lead nurse 
before uh, uh first before i can then get things so i'm going to go back and see another nurse um and then then discuss some more options but yeah that's what the the weeping was and david said oh when you get your test results it's basically my smear test results then i'll give them a call and get booked in for um for something like that but yeah not looking forward to next month already seeing how sad i was i've never really Obviously, I always fit, I always lived the periods, but I've never seen how upset I was before, and that upset me. It upset me seeing how upset I was. Um, but yeah, that was it. Period video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again soon for another video. Goodbye. <laughs>